Hello and welcome back to another video of UiPath. In this video, we will see some basic steps on SharePoint Excel. In first step, we will see how to update data in SharePoint Excel. Then we will see how to append data. After that, we will see how to add sheet, add range and delete range. And in the last, we will see how to set header color. In my previous video, you have seen how to integrate SharePoint and Azure with UiPath. If you not seen my video, so please check out the link in the description. Before go ahead, it is request to all of you. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. So first of all, I am logging my SharePoint account. Here you can see this is my SharePoint account. These are my site. In the previous video, I have explained to you how to create site. Okay, so this is my site. I'll open it. Go to documents library. Here you can see I have one Excel file. Open. Here you can see I have some data also, but now I want to update this data with new data. So I show you here you can see this data I want to update in SharePoint Excel. This is my SharePoint Excel. And here you can see all header name is same. And this also. Okay, so this Excel in my local folder and this is my SharePoint Excel. Let's go on UiPath. First of all, we have to take Microsoft Office 365 scope. In the last video, I have explained you how to integrate SharePoint and Azure with UiPath. First of all, here you can see. I'm using here application ID and tenant ID. This is the Azure application ID and, and tenant ID. Also, we are using here. And this is Azure account name. I'm using here and password. So uh, you can use assets also. I'm using like uh, get password because password is very secure. First activity I'm using here. find file and folder activity here you can see take and drag and drop here so in the query we have to give the excel sharepoint excel name okay so let's go this is our sharepoint excel name is test okay we are giving the name test dot Excel SX properties. And here you can see output. So first output, I'm creating a variable like file name and for SharePoint drive name. I show you this is the our site and this is our documents, our drive name. Okay. I'm giving the name as a Documents and site. I'll show you. So, this UiPath testing site, this is our site name. So, till here, this is the our site name. Copy and you can use directly, but I am using as a variable. This is site URL. Okay. So, I'm using now, I'm using. This variable site URL. Okay, next activity I'm using here read range. So this time I'm using read range workbook activity. Take and drag and drop here, and I have to give the 
location of local folder Excel. Input data, this is my Excel. Okay. And sheet name, and go to output. Here I'm creating a variable like DT. So here you can see I have already created. Now I want to update data. So for that, I'm using here write range activity. So this write range under this Office 365 Classic. Using we can drag and drop here. We have to give the find file activity output variable so here i'm using files variable now i'm giving the table name so our table name is dt save it and run it now check go to the here point and first of all refresh it and open Now here you can see our data has updated. Okay. Now go on next step. No need this. Okay, so I'm deleting. I'm using append data. Hold down this uh, Office 365 Classic. Using this activity, take and drag and drop here. Now, workbook so same variable files I'm using here and sheet one also and dt. Okay, now we will append the data. Let's run and see. And successfully, that's okay. So, here you can see data also append. Now, I'm deleting this activity, and now this time we will see how to add sheet. Add sheet, okay. You can drag and drop here. Variable files we are using and sheet name. So I'm using name as a data. Let's check. So here you can see data added. Okay, now go on. Let's go on. Next activity, our next activity is how to delete range. Activity and so same variable now and range. So I, mean, I want to delete from A14 B G. Now save it and run it. Let's check. You can see from eight fourteen to G fourteen deleted. Range as deleted. Okay. Let's go on. Next step. Okay, I'm deleting this. Next step is write cell. Write cell. Activity I'm using here. Files variable we have to use here. I want to add new column like uh, company name okay. where from 
H H one. Okay. Give it and run it. Let's check. And you had a name was added. Okay. Our last step. Our last step is how to set header color. Okay. We can drag and drop here. So, name variable files and sheet name. Sheet. One name range. Here we have to give the range like A1 and colon and H1. Okay, and color. So we, here we have to use property like system, like system dot drawing drawing dot color and dot color name whatever you want i want yellow green yellow okay. now run it Go on SharePoint. Here you can see header color also added. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video with new topic on UiPath. Till then, happy learning.